everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. Today I am doing a budget with me video from the 15th, which was yesterday, to the 29th. So, just wanted to show you my little layout of my October calendar that I do. I decorated it just a little bit for Halloween. I did a cute pumpkin and a bat here. And next month I am actually going to be using the new Budget by Paycheck by The Budget Mom. And I am so excited to use it. I'm going to start using it in November like I said. So next Budget with me it will be with that workbook. Let's get into the bills. Alright, so this paycheck will be from so October 15th to October 29th. And we're going to write in our incomes, which there are two incomes that I use. The first one is Sandra. She is putting in $800, her normal, and then it is me, and I usually do $600, but this time I am doing $700 into my the account. I also have some news to tell you guys. It's actually quite crazy, and our budget will be changing once those changes have been added to our account. But, we're just going to do the 800 plus 700, so that comes to an income total of $1,500. And just to clarify, this is not our actual paychecks. This is just the amount that we contribute to our joint account. So Sandra's paycheck is higher than $800 and mine is definitely bigger than $700. I just have my own separate account that I keep and so does she. So that's why we add this much towards our, towards our joint account. Alright, so we're going to start with the bills. And this month... We have Hulu, that is due the 16th, and we are budgeting $12. Next is Planet Fitness, that is due the 17th, and that will be $33, because we do have two accounts for Planet Fitness. Next is our monthly car wash fee, that is due the 22nd, and we're doing $28. And the last bill that we have for this paycheck is our car payment, which we pay the 28th, and we budget $174, which is half of our car payment. I like to separate or just split it in half between the two paychecks that I get, well, we get paid twice a month. Alright, so next what I'm going to be writing down is just extra stuff that I like to do. For example, I like to cut or split my rent in half. So that would be $372. I like to add a cushion, $50. And the cushion is there just in case I miss a bill, forgot a bill. I've been there, done that. Don't want to do that again but just in case if it happens I am ready with my cushion in my account and next is our emergency fund and I'm adding fifty dollars toward that as well so I do have a couple of things that I want to talk to you guys about my rent and emergency fund will be changing so um, long story short when we got our dogs, we didn't tell our apartment complex about it because the fees are outrageous. It is $350, a one-time fee, 
per dog and we have two so that means that we're going to be paying seven hundred dollars for having dogs and it will be a thirty dollar extra charge towards rent every month per dog so with us that would be sixty dollars extra towards our rent each month because we have two somehow uh, they found out or maybe they just seen lots of new dogs around our apartment complex because they I have seen dogs that are the aggressive kind that they do not allow here in this apartment complex for example I've seen a couple of pit bulls I've seen a Rottweiler and those are some that they do not allow so they just made that announcement to everyone so I feel like we just need to let them know that we have dogs because if they find out we have dogs they will add a hundred dollars extra towards our rent per dog so that will be two hundred dollars extra per rent instead of sixty per rent so yeah it's definitely gonna hit us a little bit we are we have decided to use the emergency fund for the seven hundred dollars and then our rent will go up sixty dollars so instead of seven forty three we're going to have to add sixty dollars toward that hopefully it does not go up any more than that so yeah that's going to be the couple changes you'll probably see within the next few months not too excited about it because it is a lot of money you know those are the apartment complexes rules so we got caught guys so now we got to pay up all right and i'm also because of the extra money we're going to pay towards rent and the one-time fee of seven hundred dollars we are going to be canceling the planet fitness we haven't gone since it's since it opened i think when did it open october 1st i think and we're just going to cancel that so that saves us 33 dollars per month plus a one-time yearly fee of i think like almost 80 dollars and I'm also thinking of maybe canceling the car wash. That's a maybe. I'm still deciding. So yeah, we're going to add up our bills. So that came up to a bill total of $719. So we're going to subtract the income total minus the bill total. So that is 1,500 minus 719. So that gives us a leftover of $781. And that will be split in between my envelopes, extra debt, and sinking funds. So let's start off with our envelopes and that these categories has not changed since I first started. So we have groceries, I'm doing $150 and it's that low because Sandra is going away for work again next week. So it's just me and I don't need that much food so I'm doing $150. And then we have our beauty, I'm adding 20. Pets, 100. Fun is 20. Takeout, 50. And miscellaneous, I'm adding $20. So let me add all that up. So our envelope total is $360. So now I'm going to subtract our leftover and our envelope total. Which comes up to $421. And we're going to go into our extra debt. And the debt that I have is my car loan. And I want to add, well let me put the leftover in, 
I'm going to add $200 to my car loan so I can pay it off faster. I did do calculations and for my car loan I am supposed to pay it off by next September the 28th, 2021. And I don't know about that because I just, it's literally a year away and I want to pay it off as fast as I can. Maybe June. So I'm going to add a little bit extra money here and there so I can pay it off by hopefully the summer. Alright, so we're going to subtract 421 minus 200 which gives us a total of $221. And with that, I'm going to be stuffing my, or filling in my sinking funds. So, $221. Alright, so, vacation, I'm adding 20 House, I'm adding 47 Car maintenance, I'm adding 20 for my Lexus repairs, 20. Sanders car, 20. Wedding and honeymoon, I am adding 20. Doggos is 14. I am M, 20. Moving out, 20. And I am adding a new sinking fund, which is my pup's emergency fund. Just in case anything happens with them, one of my dogs has had bad diarrhea and he's been pooping in his cage and we're thinking it's because we changed his food. We got the same brand but it's different flavor so he's been having an upset stomach and well just in case anything happens with them. We do have an emergency fund just in case a bill is higher than what we expect. So I need to make an envelope for that now that I am thinking about it. So let's add all up our sinking funds. Alright, so that comes to a total of $221, so it gives me a leftover of $0, which I do a zero-based budget, so I know where every of my dollar is going to, and that makes me happy knowing that each dollar has its job, has its place, as well as how I get these totals. What I do is whenever I have my leftover, I do 221 divided by how many sinking funds I have. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is 10 sinking funds. So that gives me 22 with 10 cents. So I add $20 to each category except doggos. Doggos, I do 12. but Today I'm doing 14 because last paycheck I only did 10. So I did 14 for doggos. So that gives me a little bit more money to add wherever I want. And then that extra money I add towards my most important sinking fund. And that is my house. So I added $27 extra towards that. And that's because we want a house eventually. And... Once we are done with our car loan and paying that off, we will be debt free and then we will aggressively start saving towards a house down payment once the car loan is done with. So that will give us about $700 of extra money once we're done with the car loan to add towards our house or anywhere else we want to add because I do eventually want to add more than $20 to each sinking fund. So once we are done with that, we are going to fill our cash envelope breakdown sheet just so I can go to the bank and 
get those denominations that I need. Right, guys so I'm done filling this out I am pulling out seven hundred and eighty one dollars to stuff all these envelopes and yeah also have a huge announcement um, I did mention on Instagram that I am doing a 200 follower giveaway on Instagram but I am also doing a 200 subscribers giveaway here on YouTube because I did go over 200 so that giveaway will be posted in my next video the cash envelope stuffing video so keep an eye out for that so you can learn how to enter and win all the great goodies that I have for you guys I'm so excited to show you because I want to keep it myself, but I cannot because this is for you. Just to say thank you and for supporting me, for commenting, for liking my videos, and everything else. So I will be doing two giveaways, one on Instagram and one here on YouTube. So you can enter on both if you follow me on Instagram and here on YouTube. So this ends this video. For the budget with me of my second paycheck for October and I appreciate you guys for watching and tuning in as well as please like this video and subscribe to my channel and also comment down below any questions you have for me I do love interacting with you all um, people have been asking me so many good questions that I love to answer so keep on doing that and as always Keep saving, keep budgeting, and just keep making that money so you can stuff your envelopes. And also follow me on Instagram at Vede Budgets, same as my YouTube. And go check out my Etsy shop where I sell cash envelopes. And yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next in my stuffing video. Bye.